Alright, well I'm halfway done with stage 4 of New Rules of Lifting for Women. I've got one week left of strength training and then one off week and I will be done. Um, so far, I do have a little bit of progress to report, which is pretty awesome because I wasn't expecting it. It's not scale progress. In fact, the scale has gone up 0.6 pounds. Not too worried about it. It's a very small amount and the way my body tends to work is I will have a significant loss like I did last time and then next time I weigh myself it'll be up a little bit and then it'll be a loss and then again and then it'll go up again and then I'll have another loss. So let's just by tracking my weight loss over the two years that I've been doing it that's uh, something that I've noticed that my body does good reason to write everything down and keep records so you can notice fluctuations like that because everyone loses weight a little bit differently. The progress that I've got is that my upper thigh right here this area it's actually gone down a quarter of an inch and the area by my belly button that has gone down a quarter inch as well which both areas that I've been struggling with and started this program so that's awesome to see progress in that area. I've also noticed that my arms are looking a little bit more shapely. My dog's over here whining and crying. <laughs> but the measurements don't really reflect that because well I don't measure every inch of my body but I'm gonna throw up some pictures here and they're looking pretty shapely. It seems like my abs are starting to look a little bit more defined, like especially in the oblique area. Oh. I know it's kind of hard to tell on a webcam, it's not really the best quality. There we go. You can see that. Starting to get more cut right here. And this is starting to, this area right here, starting to get a little bit more defined. Yes, and here's a, here's a little message for all you, particularly ladies out there. I know my close-up just there showed my stretch marks. I've got them. My body looks like a road map. It does. And, you know, there comes a point in time when you just have to accept some things about yourself those are never gonna go away um, yes over time they're they're not red anymore they have smoothed out a little bit I have put shitload of cocoa butter on those I've tried the Moderma I've tried the bio oil I've tried everything okay it comes down to genetics and my genetics for my skin kind of suck well, not much I can do about it short of laser removal and honestly I don't even know if they have that but they might. Don't hate yourself because you got stretch marks on your stomach, on your hips, on your thighs, whatever, wherever you got them on your arms, on your boobs, on your back. Don't be ashamed of your stretch marks. They're a part of life. About nearly everybody has them. Even the, the TV stars and the models, they got them too but this shit gets photoshopped out for them or they got makeup put over them so don't let that deceive you into thinking that those people have perfect skin because they don't stretch marks are real stretch marks are part of, part of life the majority of women have them especially if you've had kids if you've ever gained weight if you've ever lost weight if you ever had your boobs come in if you ever had hips pop out all right you're gonna have them so I know a lot of women get depressed over it and they struggle with it and they're ashamed of it and they don't want to wear shorts or a bathing suit or a tank top or whatever because of it. Love yourself for who you are. There are things that you can change and there are things that you just can't and you just got to accept those things about yourself. Don't waste your time hating yourself over shit you can't change. Focus on the things you can. And, and just 
do the best you can with what you got. Back to back to the progress report for the halfway through. Something else that I'm pretty excited about that I noticed is happening. Sometime around like when I first started this program, you know how they got those little gel things where like when you're trying on shoes or something and you, you stand up and you uh you put your feet on it and it, it'll leave a heat print and it'll show you if you got like a low arch or a completely flat foot or a high arch. Well, okay, so I did one of those and a couple months ago and my feet were completely flat. I did it maybe about two weeks ago and my feet are no longer flat. I've got a low arch now and I can guarantee that is because I've been able to improve my posture and I've been able to improve my posture by focusing on my form like I've been trying to do with this stage and for the past stage three I've been really trying to focus more on my form than lifting as heavy as I could and I know that's why I'm seeing this difference now in my feet is because my posture is better I'm straightening everything back out which really gives me hope for being able to fix my pigeon toe issue that I got um, and also gives me a lot of hope and able to fix my lateral pelvic tilt that I got going on so slow progress but definite progress definitely more things to focus on the scale as this is showing you here there's so many aspects of being healthy it's not just the scale so focus on the other things focus on things that have to do with your health about your well-being about not only about the way you look it's great and it's awesome motivator but there's just so many other things so many other benefits that go along with this kind of stuff and you should really make sure you take the time to track those and focus on those on as well so there we go my update for halfway through stage four i will see you guys again in two weeks bye